Peter Rabbit. Peter Rabbit. Flosby, Mosby, Cottontail, and Peter were four little rabbits who lived with their mother in a sandbank. One morning, Miss Rabbit said she was going out. You may go into the fields or down the lane, she told her bunnies, but don't go into Mr. Gregor's garden. When Miss Rabbit left, Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail, who were good little bunnies, went down the lane to gather blackberries. But Peter, who was naughty, ran straight into Mr. Gregor's garden and squeezed under a gate to eat French beans, lettuce, and radish. Suddenly, Mr. Gregor saw Peter. He ran after Peter, waving a rake and calling out, Stop, thief! The rabbit was quite frightened. He rushed all over the garden, for he had forgotten the way back to the gate. Peter got caught in the gooseberry net and was ready to give himself up for lost. Then Mr. Gregor came up with a sieve, which he intended to pop upon Peter. But just in time, Peter wiggled out, leaving his jacket behind. He ran to the watering can and jumped in. It was a fine place in which to hide, but it had water in it. The water made Peter sneeze. Kachu! Mr. Gregor was after him in no time. Peter jumped out of the window, upsetting three plants. It was then that Mr. Gregor decided that he was tired of running after Peter. He went back to his work. Peter began to wander about, looking all around. He found a door in a wall, but it was locked and there was no room for Rabbit to squeeze underneath. An old mouse was nearby, and Peter asked the way to the gate, but the mouse had such a large pea in her mouth that she could not answer. Peter began to cry. Peter went toward the tool shed, where he heard the noise of a hoe, scritch, scratch, scritch. He climbed upon a wheelbarrow and peeped over, Mr. Gregor was hoeing onions. His back was turned toward Peter, and beyond him was a gate. Quickly, Peter got down off the wheelbarrow and started running as fast as he could toward the gate. Mr. Gregor caught sight of him, but Peter was soon safe outside the garden. And then Peter stopped. Then, <clears throat> and then Peter stopped running until he was home at the sandy rabbit hole. His mother was busy cooking. She sold him she scalded him for not being good and for losing his little jacket. Then she put him to bed and made some chamomile tea for him, since Peter was not feeling well. But Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail, who had been good, had bread and milk and blackberries for supper. The end.